My family, now according to carnival of so-called expert Kinsey Schofield, she claims that members of the royal family bend the rules to accept Megan into the royal family and that Megan should be grateful that she was even accepted into the royal fold, into Britain's royal family. Now my family, so we do have to ask this question. Did senior members of the royal family, Big Charles, bend the rules for Meghan to be accepted into the royal fold? Did the Queen, my family, years before she passed away, bend the rules for Meghan to be accepted into the royal fold? My family, that is what we are going to be answering in this video. And one more thing. I cringe every single time I hear Kinsey Schofield claiming to have insider information on anything having to do with Harry Meghan. My family, she knows nothing. Someone like Kinsey Schofield, who my family photoshopped Meghan's face out of Meghan's own engagement photos, my family, and put her face there, implying that she was the one who was marrying Prince Harry, my family, delusionally. That person can never ever come within five meters of Megan. My family, I would say, call security. If I ever see someone like Kinsey Scofield anywhere near Megan, this person has zero access to Megan. Zero. Let's all be very, very clear on that. But there are some people who are gullible, who are being fooled to think that Kinsey Schofield is somehow close to Megan, has some kind of access to Megan. She has zero access to Megan. Let's be very, very clear on that. Now, my family, there is something that I want you all to hear of what Kinsey Schofield is saying, my family. So please kindly hear this yourself, please. I think that Megan was devastated that she didn't feel like she fit in in the royal family, but she is so wrapped up in her own security, uh, insecurity that she didn't see the beautiful opportunity she was given. She, I don't care about, I don't care about her race. I think it's irrelevant. But she was a divorced woman from uh, the, the from the United States of America. They made Princess Diana confirm that she was a virgin, you know, like, oh, how times have changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she was an acceptable um, new addition to the British royal family. This divorced American, you know, reeks of Wallace Simpson, which devastated the royal family at the time. And so she didn't, she focuses so much on the negative instead of seeing the blessings in her life and what an incredible opportunity this was. And an incredible opportunity this was being in the raw fold. My family, every single day, we keep on seeing how carnival of so-called experts keep on negating all the abuse, all the racism that they subjected Megan to. They keep on acting as if none of it happened. They keep on acting as if they never ever abused or insulted Megan. My family. And then despite everything, all the abuse, all the racism that they heaped on Megan, they're like, Megan, you should be thankful that you are even accepted into the royal family. Yet every single day, for a long time now, for eight years now, for eight long years, they have tried so hard to separate Megan from Harry. And they're still trying to do it while saying, Megan, you should be thankful that you're even accepted into the royal family. And that this has nothing to do with the race. I mean, you are a divorcee, Megan, and you are accepted still. My family, what Kinsey is doing, she is trying to imply that my family somehow Britain's raw family bent the rules to accept Megan. My family, my family, do you think that's what they did? Of course not. That is not what they did. Britain's raw family bent the rules many years ago.
when Charles was allowed to marry Camilla Parker Bowles. Stop saying, oh, you know what? Senior royals bend the rules so that Prince Harry can be able to marry Meghan. Nonsense. 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 That's a bunch of lies. You are lying. You are lying, King Scofield. You are lying. And you know you are lying. Stop implying that the royal family bend the rules to accept Meghan. My family, if they ever accepted Meghan, then my family, how come they never protect? Protected Megan. How come Harry told Charles to his face that you are doing a great disservice to yourselves by refusing to protect my wife? If Megan was accepted, why did Harry go to Charles and tell him that? If she was accepted, my family. You know, we now know for a fact that there was a plot to even mess up. Megan and Harry's wedding. And we know that straight from Thomas Markle himself. My family, that there was a plot to mess up, you know, Megan and Prince Harry's wedding. We know that uh, we know that for a fact. And my family, Thomas Markle himself, you know, confessed that his contact at the palace was Jason. North, my family. That was Thomas Markle's confession. That his contact at the palace was Jason North. And my family, they plotted to mess up, you know, my family, you know, Megan and Harry's wedding. And my family, there is no way Jason North did what he did without receiving approval from William himself. No way. No way he did what he did without receiving William's blessings, my family. No way does Jason of even issue a statement in court against Meghan without William's approval. No way. Let me remind you of what Thomas Markle said, my family. A set up. I was uh, uh, set up by a guy named Jeff Rayner and... Um... Um, uh, another guy named Dylan Howard, who was uh, with American Media, I think. And the whole thing was a plan to actually mess up the wedding. Uh, I was just part of it, basically. I was just part of it. I was just part of it, confesses Thomas Markle. And my family, in that interview, he also said that his only contact at the palace was just enough. Prince William's AD. And we all know from Harry's memoir spare, William did everything in his power to try and even destroy Harry and Meghan's relationship. William even tried to turn Harry against Meghan just so he could destroy his brother's marriage. We now know that for a fact. You know? But someone says, Megan, you need to be grateful that you were even accepted into the royal family. You need to be thankful of that. You know? My family, people like Kindy Schofield, you know, have never been able to get over the fact that Megan and Harry, my family, are married and that they have kids together and they'll be bonded forever. And ever, and ever, and ever. Whether UK media, or William, or Charles, like it or not. And for a long time, people like Kindy Schofield have been so full of envy towards Megan. And that's why they're like, Megan, you should be thankful. Megan, you should be thankful. Because they feel in their minds that Megan is ungrateful. My family, should Megan have been thankful for all the abuse? That they heaped on her or subjected her to and say, this is an amazing institution while being abused, while being subjected to so much racism. And the farm won't even condemn, even once, racism towards Megan, even once. But UK Media and the farm and currents like Kinsey Schofield expect Megan to be like, I'm so thankful to be here. The monarchy is an amazing institution. They want Megan to say that. But yet, 
they subject her to so much racism and abuse and also target her children as well. But then despite all that, they're like, Megan, you should be grateful. Megan, you should be grateful to even have been accepted. My family, you know, and then Kinsey says, Megan, you know, all the attacks have nothing to do with the race. It's just because you're a divorcee. My family, let me read you what Harry said in spare. My family, and I quote. The telegraph entered the fray with a piece slightly less disgusting, but equally insane. In with the writer examined from all angles the burning question of whether or not I was legally able to marry a gasp, a divorcee. God, they were already into her past and looking at her first marriage. Never mind that my father, a divorcee, was currently married to a divorcee. Or my aunt, Princess Anne, was a remarried divorcee. The list went on. Divorce in 2016 was deemed by the British press to be a scarlet letter. So my family, when you hear Carnival of so-called expert Kinsey Schofield trying to imply that, you know what, Megan should, should be grateful to be to be accepted even because of the fact that she was a divorcee. And the members of the royal family usually don't accept those. My family remind them that currently King Charles himself is married to a divorcee. King Charles himself is a divorcee. Remind them that Princess Anne, my family, is a divorcee. But Carnival of Socialist Party, Kinsey Scofield is saying that Megan, you should be thankful because members of the royal family don't usually, you know, accept divorcees there. <laughs> and that they somehow made an exception for Megan. She is lying. She is lying. She is lying. And I can't stand liars. And I always believe that we have to expose liars. Like Kinsey Schofield. We can't allow them to lie in peace. We cannot. We cannot. We cannot. And we won't. My family, we won't. We won't allow them to lie in peace. You know, my family, <laughs> King Scofield says that Megan is, is, is insecure, which is weird because my family, this is coming from the person who photoshopped Megan's face out of Megan's own engagement photos to put her face there, implying that she was the one who was married to Prince Harry, not Megan. And then she says, Megan is insecure. My family, weird. It's very, very weird. It's very, very weird and very, very hypocritical of Kinsey Schofield. My, my family, number one, the number one reason as to why Megan has been rejected by UK media and by senior members of the royal family was because of her race. If Megan was ever accepted even, why did Prince Harry have to issue a statement condemning racism against his then Gaffer Megan within eight days into her and Harry's re relationship becoming public. Why? Why did Harry issue a statement condemning racism against his then girlfriend Megan? Because he saw what was happening. He saw what was going on. And my family, Harry even gave examples in spare of the racist articles written. Targeting Megan by the media, but you're never gonna see on Talk TV or on GB News them having a segment discussing point by point all the racist, offensive articles written about Megan. Because you know why, my family? Because they continue to do so. They continue to subject Megan to racism and then say, Megan, you should be grateful to be part of British royal family. How can she be grateful? When she's abused 24 hours a day. How can she be grateful when she's treated appallingly and, be, and gets bullied every single day? 
How can she be grateful? In fact, my family, UK media themselves, the tabloids, have been doing everything in their power to send a message to Harry Meghan, my family, of just how you know angry UK media are that Harry Meghan, you know, fled the UK. UK media have been trying to send a message to Harry Meghan, whereby they they are trying to send this message that Harry Meghan can have no peace outside even of the institution. And you know what? With every single attack that the UK media subject both Harry and Meghan to, they are reminding Harry and Meghan just why they fled the UK. And clearly, Harry and Meghan did the right thing. They did the right thing. And they made the right decision. And with each and every single attack waged against both Harry and Meghan, it's a reminder as to why Harry and Meghan fled the UK. In Meghan's own words, in the Harry and Meghan documentary, Meghan said, no matter how good I was, no matter what I did, nothing was ever good enough. Case in point, Meghan wrote a forward for my family, the Grenfell community, women. And my family, it sold many, many copies. The cookbook that Meghan wrote a forward for so many, many copies, and it helped the women of Grenfell. And instead of the UK W media praising Megan for that, what did they do? My family, they abused her. They claimed that my family, Megan's uh, work with the women of Grenfell was linked to terrorism. That's what they did to Megan. And then Carnival of so-called expert Kinsey Schofield says that Mega should be grateful. For what? For what? You know? I am sure that Megan is grateful for her husband and her children. But then what else should be should she be grateful for, my family? What else? Because UK media keep on subjecting her to abuse constantly and then say, Megan, you should be thankful to have, to have been accepted here. By the royal family. Should be grateful. My family. You know, UK media refused to get the memo from Megan. That Megan has moved on with her life. And she wants to continue moving on with her life. But UK media don't want her to move on, do they? They don't want Megan to move on. Remember, they don't want either Harry or Megan to move on. And that's why even recently, UK media have been calling for Megan to write her own you know, memoir. That's how desperate the UK media truly are. They've been calling for me to write, own, to write our own memoir, to tell our own story. That's how desperate the UK media are because they want content. They don't want Megan to move on. They don't want that. They don't want that. They want the drama. And they need for Harry and Megan to be invested on my family, you know, trying to reconcile with senior members of the Royal Family back in the UK who are the ones who are fully approving of this entire smear campaign against Harry and Meghan. The best thing that Harry and Meghan can keep on doing is earning their own living and paying their own bills. My family, and becoming billionaires. That way, they can secure, they can continue securing their financial freedom from the farm. Even the kids also will not be subservient to William and Kate's kids, my family. And I find that very, very important. If Prince Harry also wants to end that cycle of suffering, you know, passed on from generation to generation, to my family generation that he talked about, the one way he can end that is by ensuring that my family, his kids, never ever are dependent on William and Kate's kids for anything. You know? My family. And that's very, very important. That's very, very, my family, important. And my family, Megan was never, ever welcomed into the royal family. Let's be very, very clear on that. Let's all be very, very clear on that. Megan was never, ever welcomed into the royal family. You know? You are having Charles, who was telling Prince Harry, that you know what? There's not much money for, for Megan. So Megan needs to go and keep, keep on working. To pay her bills. And my family, even if Megan was to keep on acting or 
going on a movie for, for Disney or for Marvel. My family, even if Megan did that, you know what UK Media would have done? They would have accused Megan of cashing in on, on my family is on her royal titles. That's what they would have done. Because if there's one thing that I'm sure you have noticed, UK Media don't want either Harry or Megan to earn their own living, to make their own money. Because if they do, it means you cannot control either Harry or Meghan. It means that Harry and Meghan continue to be free, which is something all of you know UK media don't want to continue. And that's why you're saying UK media desperate to find a way to force Harry back to the UK by force. As they try to get Harry deported from the US and back to the UK. They're going to Trump. They're going to Trump's children, my family, to ask them for help. They have a case so by the Backing Heritage Foundation family to try and get Harry deported. That's how desperate UK media are, my family. So, of course, they don't want Harry and Meghan to keep on making, a, making money. They don't want Harry and Meghan to keep on the family engaging in you know, commercial deals. They don't want that. And that's why you see UK media attacking each and every single commercial venture that Harry and Meghan partake in because they don't want either Harry or Meghan to pay their own bills. And my family, at the end of the day, you must do, you know, what is right, my family. And um, the right thing is, my family, for Harry and Meghan to keep on earning their own living and paying their own bills and never, ever be dependent on either Charles or William or Kate or Camilla for anything, my family. And that is extremely, extremely important, my family. Extremely, extremely, you know, important, my family. And who can forget, my family, that uh, members of parliament, because... According to Kinsey Schofield, my family, you trying to claim that Megan should be grateful to be welcomed with the royal family. My family, don't forget this, that members of parliament, you know, in the UK, condemned the racism that Megan experienced from the UK media and not a single member of the royal family, not William, not Charles, ever condemned racism Towards Megan or towards Harry, Megan, son Archie. But Kinsey says that Megan should be grateful to have been accepted into the royal family, to Britain's royal family. <laughs> you know, the fact that Megan, you know, joined, you know, the royal family after marrying Prince Harry and then saw everything that this school offered abuse, racism, you know, misogyny, you know, xenophobia, and said, I don't want any part of this. UK media are livid. They're livid. What well, they would give anything to be a part of. Anything to be a part of. Why do you think Kitty Schofield removed Megan's face and put her own face, you know, onto Harry and Megan's engagement photos? To imply that she was the one who was marrying Prince Harry, who was marrying Prince Harry and not Megan. Why do you think Kitty Schofield did that? She did that because my family, she desires to be a princess. She desires to be a duchess. Most of the Karens are just so jealous of what Megan has. And I wonder when you see Megan wearing expensive things, they're like, they're like, no, 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 she doesn't deserve it. No wonder when Emily Andrews, a carnival or soccer expert, wakes up, my family, you know, early in the morning, like at 1 a.m., and sees a picture of Megan, she, she, she complains, oh, you know what? I don't go hiking with my, with, with a, a water that costs. 40,000 pounds. But Emily Andrews isn't Megan. She isn't wealthy or rich as Megan is. She isn't a princess or a duchess like Megan is. But they can't stand the thought of her having nice things. Even when Megan was back in the in Rofold, Daily Express, I remember and I'll never forget this. They're doing polls asking whether taxpayers are willing to pay for Megan. And also Harry and Meghan's new baby. Remember, right now we now know that my family, the cost that taxpayers incur to fund Britain's royal family is close to a billion pounds every year. Every single year, a billion pounds. Close to a billion pounds every single year to fund Britain's royal family. And UK media don't have a problem with that. But they did have a problem with the thought of Paying the bills for Harry Meghan's new baby, Archie. 
They had a problem with um, my family, that cottage, four more cottage, being renovated for 2.4 million pounds. Jealousy. Jealousy. And they'll tell you it has nothing to do with race, my family, but clearly it has everything to do with race. And Kinsey says that she doesn't care about, you know, Megan's race. My family, I can promise you one thing. She does care. She does care. And my family, most of the attacks on Megan that have been waged upon her have everything to do with her race. Let nobody fool you. Let nobody lie to you, my family, that it's otherwise. My family, most of the attacks that Megan has experienced have everything to do with her race. Let nobody fool you and let nobody lie to you, my family. Let nobody lie to you. That's the truth and nothing but the truth. You know, my family, let nobody fool you. And my family, you know, the fact that Megan has moved on with her life, as you can see, it irritates them. It angers them. They don't like it that she's moved on. You know, they don't like it that she's moved on. And they're taking everything in their power to apply so much pressure, exert so much pressure on both her and Megan's marriage that their relationship and marriage my family breaks down and every single day i hope that took media never ever succeed in the evil plot against harry megan you know and their kids because every single abuse that they have heaped upon megan is exactly what they want to do to archie and lily but don't be fooled also don't be fooled don't be fooled that they want to treat archie well and they love archie they don't they don't my family, don't forget that Megan never even, you know, had any kind of peace whenever she was pregnant. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Don't forget that Megan herself said that whenever she's been pregnant, the attacks on her have drastically increased. And the only reason why you would attack someone who's pregnant is because you clearly don't want her to be able to safely deliver her child. And we have seen for a long time, my family, that UK Media and the farm, you know, have never ever wanted Megan to bear hurricanes. Because they wanted Megan out of Harry's life as soon as possible. You know? But my family, years later, Harry and Megan are still married. You know, no matter all the attacks of Vicky Media, Harry and Megan are still together. And my family, I pray that nothing ever, ever separates Harry from Megan or Megan from Prince Harry. My family. I am sure that Megan is thankful for her husband and for her kids. But if you are asking her to be thankful to, to have been, you know, treated appallingly by the farm and UK media, Megan is not going to be thankful for that. Megan is not going to praise the same institution that treats her and her children appallingly. I will never forget Megan's words in the Oprah interview, whereby she said, of how she pleaded on Harry's behalf for Prince Harry to be allowed to keep his security. And then my family, in her letter that I believe was sent to Charles, Megan said, I know you don't care about me or Archie. Just let my husband keep his security. Why do you think you don't care about Archie? What is common between Megan and Archie? They're mixed race. They are mixed. And my family, UK Media, will tell you, their attacks on Megan have nothing to do with race. We would love to see those kids. Charles would love to see those kids. He would love to see them so much that he endangered their lives. He would love to see Archie so much that he actually, you know, endangered his life by taking away his security. He loves Lilibet so much that he could allow his granddaughter to be bullied over her name, to be bullied over her name and say he loves her. My family. <sighs> My family. In the words of Charles himself, who said that, you know, whatever love means. My family, when asked about, you know, what he felt about Diana, he said, whatever love, you know, means. Charles doesn't know what love is. It is high time that some individuals, his minions, stop trying to portray Charles as someone who's caring or someone who knows what love is. Charles has no idea what love is. Let's all not kid ourselves here. Charles has no idea what love is. 
what love means. My family, let's be very, very clear on that. You know, and Charles is not a good person and he has never ever been a good person. And my family, I've always said this, even if Harry loves his father, Charles will always disappoint him again and again and again and again. The fact that Charles wants, you know, Prince Harry to abandon his kids and his wife tells you that Charles doesn't care about Harry, about Meghan, or about Archie, or about Lady Bedana. Whenever you hear this message, oh, the doors are wide open, you know, for Harry to come back to the Rawfold, yeah, but, but only him. If you've noticed, they don't even mention his kids or his wife. And I'm sure you've noticed. And my family is because they don't care about them. They don't care about them. And they also don't care about Harry himself. You know? And my family, that message is coming straight from Charles himself. That person does not love Harry. Harry may love him, but Charles does not, does not share the same exact my family feelings. He doesn't. You know? Because he doesn't know what love is. You know? My family, let's be very, very clear on that 100%. <sighs> to my family, I feel so sad because of what Megan had to go through at the hands of the UK media and what she continues to go through. Because UK media keep on targeting her, my family, you know, every single day. And uh, this has really just got to stop. You know, this has really, really just got to my family stop. The attacks on Megan have got to, to stop. You know? In my family, I ask everyone to keep it in party, Megan, and keep bringing them all the best in the world. Because what they face every single day is not easy. What Harry Megan face every single day is not easy. Mostly Megan, because they keep targeting her every single day. And the ones who bully and abuse her are asking her to be grateful to be part of the royal family. Surely. Surely. Does that even make sense? The people who are abuse, abusing you or bullying you, people who are behind abusing you and bullying you every single day are telling you to be grateful to be part of the royal family. Remember, before Meghan met Prince Harry, nobody accused her of bullying. Nobody said one bad word about Meghan. My family. And then she meets Prince Harry. And members of the Rorota, my family, say the most insulting things about her. And then say, Megan, you need to be grateful to be part of the royal family. How can she be grateful when you, when you abuse her, insult her, and her kids? How can she be? How can she be? You know? How can she be? My family. You know? And it's high time that we keep on demanding and calling for the UK media to leave Megan alone and let this woman live and work in peace. Let her love her husband. You know, in peace. Let her, you know, enjoy a marriage in peace without being hounded, without being harassed, without being bullied, you know, without, you know, being racially abused. My family, it is important for Megan to live, you know, her life in peace. And my family, right now, I want to hear your opinion on what we have just discussed. May God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Lily Bertana and Doria Ragland, and all of you members of Scott my family. King Schofield has no access to Megan. She can say that she's a, a, a reporter from Los Angeles, that she has insider information about Harry Megan. She has nothing on Harry Megan. She has nothing. My family, you know, there are these stories that Harry Megan have bought property in Portugal. Now, these stories have been unconfirmed. And I'll say this, my family, don't be surprised that if it's true, you begin hearing that there are Portuguese role experts. Don't be surprised. Don't be surprised. Because when Harry Megan moved and fled to America, my family, we began hearing that they are, that they are American role experts. My family. And now you're seeing Kindy Schofield describe herself as someone who has insider information on what Harry and Megan are doing in LA. She has no knowledge. She knows nothing. She knows nothing. And she desires to have Megan's life. She desires to be married to a prince. King Schofield, no person is ever going to marry someone like you and fall in love with you. Because of what you have inside here. What you have inside here is rotten to the core. Look at what you do to Megan every single day with the abuse of her, with targeting her, and then saying, Megan, you need to be grateful to be part of this monarchy. You know? 
say someone who bullies every single day. My family, Megan's rejection just stings them a lot. And my family, you know, Megan, may she keep on protecting her peace and also her mental health. And may God protect her and Prince Harry and their kids. And may nothing ever destroy the love bond that Harry and Megan have for each other. And right now, I want to hear your opinion on what we have discussed. May God bless Harry, Megan Archie, and also Lily Berdana and Doria Raglan. And all of you members who's got at home, never wins. Love wins and stay tuned to this video. Love you also forever and may God bless each and every single one of your family. My family, the royal family did not bend any rules to, you know, allow Megan to marry into the royal family. You know, already Charles, my family was a divorcee and he got remarried. Anne also was a divorcee and my family, she got remarried. So my family, this attempt at saying that because Megan was a divorcee and that she was a Accepted into the royal family that she should be, you know, thankful that members of the royal family bent the rules for her. My family, nobody bent the rules for Megan. Let's be very, very clear on that. Let's be very, very clear on that. So, my family, so right now I want to hear your opinion on what we have just discussed. May God bless Harry, Megan Archie, and also Lily Badana and Doria Wagland. And all of you members of the squad at home, he never wins. Love wins and stay tuned on this video. Love you also forever and may God bless your family. Hello, members of the Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.